So during my all custom room installation video, I almost get three to five comments like how to update it to new version without losing the data. So this process is also known as dirty flashing if you are on a Android version and want to update to the latest version of the custom ROM without losing your data. So in previous video as well, I got a comment on a Dogfest OS that how can I update my ROM without actually losing any data. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. So without wasting further time, let's head straight to the video and make sure to watch the video till the very end to avoid any mistake and doing the installation of this ROM or updating your ROM. If you face any problem, there will be a link in top right corner. You can just click there and unbreak your device and if you want to, you can install it again or update it. And it may also delete all your data so i will highly suggest you to first take all the backups as if you are new to this so in case you mess up as well so you can just reshow your data and install whatever room you want to install so without wasting for time let's head straight to the video so my name is virgin with snaptex so let's get started So as you can see currently I'm running on the Dogfest OS based on Android 12 which I installed in my, one of my previous video. So if you have hand seed that and want to install this ROM on your device you can just go to the link in the description below or there will be a link on top right corner just click there and you will know how to install this ROM. But if you have already installed it and you want to update or if you want to update any other custom ROM which you saw in my video or in some other video in some other device you can do that as well. So the only thing you have to do is just boot into your fast boot. So to the, do that just power off your device once you do that just hold volume of 11 and power button for oneplus 7t but if you are using some other device you will need to google out what you can exactly type to get your phone into fast boot mode so once you do that just use volume down key until you reach to this recovery mode after that just press power key And then you will boot into this kind of recovery so for this room we are currently on this recovery so then you will go to update apply update then press power key then press power key on apply from adb as well because there is no available recovery for the oneplus 70 so all the room installation is either done from fast boot mode or it's done directly from the ot update from the room itself so I'm showing you the fast boot mode process just because many of the ROM doesn't have that OT update already present in that ROM. So once you're on the screen, just click on power key once again to go from ADB. Then once you do that, just connect your device to your PC. So I will do that now and move back to my PC again. So to install the update package of your custom ROM, you need to download the update package for me. It's Surface 12, this one. So I already downloaded it before and you will need to get this platform tools folder as well. So if you don't know how to download that, I'll be a link in description below, you can go there and download it. And after that, you'll need to just extract this folder. And once it's done, just copy or cut your update file. So I'll cut over here, then go to your platform tools folder, platform tools and paste it over here. Once you do that, you'll need to open the command promote window. So to do that, click on the search icon on top and type in CMD and press enter. Once you do that, you need to type in ADB devices. Once you do that, you will see the name of your device along with side load written beside it. And if you can't see that, that means your PC doesn't have the required drivers to identify your device in ADB mode. So first download the drivers from the description below if you can't see your device name while you write this ADB devices. And after that, you can continue with the whole process and it will detect your device for sure. So once you do that and your device is detected, just type in ADB side load space and the name of your file update package, which you want to update. So just go to your file name, just right click, go to rename and just press control C to copy this name. Then go back to your CMD window and paste the name right there using Ctrl plus V. And once you do that, just type in .zip at the end as it's a zip file. So once you do that, you need to just press enter. So it may take some time to install this update package on your device. So you, you can just sit back and relax until it's done.
So once it's done installing, we'll be on this kind of screen. It will be written total X F T R. So now you can move back to your device to see if your ROM has been installed successfully or not. So once you're on your device again, you'll be on this kind of screen. So you can disconnect your device from your PC now as the update package has been installed. So as you can see over here, all the commands, this is all you will see on your device as well. So once it's done, go to back, back. So now we don't have to factory reset anything because we just updated our ROM and not freshly installed some other ROM. So once you do that, just click on reboot system now. So as you can see our device has been booted into system and it has been updated to the latest version of the custom room. So this is how you can update the custom room on your device without losing your data. So this is how you can update your custom room without losing your data. So this is also known as dirty flashing and it sometimes like there is a quite little chance that your device will get into some boot loop or it will just break and it may cause you to lose your data if you will try to you know fix it. So make sure you back up everything even though you are trying to just update it so that in case you lose your data you'll already have a backup which you can restore later. So this is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please press that like button at the bottom. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more tech-related content. So I will meet you in the next one. SnapTech signing out.